everyone, today I'm reviewing the Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum. And really quick, I just wanna say I purchase these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you wanna help support the channel, check out nobsb.com, check my Patreon community, or click on the link below. Okay, finally get a chance to review this one from Coco Kind. And I'm really excited to review Coco Kind because I don't think I reviewed anything from them yet. I've talked about them in several videos, but never dedicated a full video review to them. So. Okay, so they call, they say Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum is specifically optimized with five types of ceramides and lipids that mimic and support skin's natural barrier. The serum nourishes and replenishes for healthy looking skin. Sorry, my nose itches a little bit. There we go. It feels better now. So someone's talking about me, I guess, right? Or does that mean I'm going to win money? I don't know. If it's money, I'll keep itching, but. Okay, anyway, on to my first criteria, which is packaging. No issues with the packaging. Nice dropper bottle. I like the fact that the bottle's all white. And they put the expiration date at the bottom, which is even better. So, I don't know. I think it's glass, so I like the fact that it's opaque. Really like that, so. In terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. It's also fragrance-free and has no scent to it at all, really. Uh, the manufacturing location is... Uh, U.S. It's made in the U.S. I actually, they say made in San Francisco specifically. So there we go. Um, okay, let me do a quick pH test, which will become uh, important to note. So because they do it contain some exfoliating ingredients, so I thought I should do the pH. Overhead. Looks to be right about five, nearly five on the dot. So um there we go five is pretty close to the skin's natural ph uh very easy to use so you can smooth it onto your skin after cleansing and toning i would say two to three drops is usually enough to cover your entire face and neck and this is something i actually do use on my neck it's super sensitive but my neck handles this one quite well uh, you can use it morning evening uh, works really nicely. Uh, I really like using my evening routine, so I'll apply my uh, Altrino lotion, uh, which is a very strong retinoid, and then I'll apply this over it. It helps to prevent some of the dryness from the uh, retinoid, so I really like using it in my evening routine. Works nicely in the morning routine as well. Works pretty nice under most sunscreens and no pilling or anything like that, so uh, very easy to use. Sets to a non-sticky finish that is kind of natural, so um, okay, so let's talk about the beneficial ingredients and why the pH was important. Okay, so the first ingredient, aloe juice, it's a nice, soothing, hydrating ingredient. We've got squalane, another good antioxidant, skin identical ingredient. We've got uh, glucolactone, which is a polyhydroxy acid, which is uh, a gentler version of alpha-hydroxy acids. It lifts off dead skin cells, making skin smooth and e even. It's also a great moisturizing ingredient, ingredient and can help repair the skin barrier. Um, and it's also a good antioxidant. So there we go with that one, which is an exfoliant. Uh, next up, we've got arginine, which is a skin identical ingredient amino acid. Then we've got lactic acid, which is an AHA exfoliant. Uh, it also has skin hydrating properties. However, for lactic acid to really exfoliate the skin, the pH needs to be lower than 4, which this one is not. So the lactic acid will probably provide some nice hydration, but you're not going to get any real exfoliation from the lactic acid at this pH in this product. But it's a good ingredient because it also is nice and hydrating for skin. Uh, we've got banana fruit extract, which is a good skin conditioning ingredient. We've got pololan, which is a film-forming ingredient. Um, it's used in a lot of like, uh, mouth breath mint products cause it has a nice film. Uh, so with skincare products, it also provides a nice film. I think it's made as a sugar ingredient. We've got beta glucan, which is a humectant and antioxidant. I'd much rather see beta glucan than sodium hyaluronate any day because at least beta glucan has some other beneficial properties for skin other than just hydrating it. We've got vitamin E, which is a good antioxidant hydrating ingredient. We've got sunflower seed oil, skin berry repairing and hydrating ingredient. We've got cholesterol, skin identical ingredient and hydrating ingredient. We've got those ceramides, skin identical ingredients. We've got caprul, phytosphignazine, and sphignozine, which are both skin conditioning and hydrating ingredients. So 
a really nice list of antioxidants, hydrating ingredients, soothing ingredients, and barrier repairing ceramides and things like that. Not exactly sure the purpose of the lactic acid and the PHA they put in here, but it's not like they're doing anything bad, so that's always a good thing. But they're just not as beneficial, especially the lactic acid, so... Okay, in terms of animal testing, uh, this brand or this product is cruelty-free and vegan. I think the whole brand is, but I could be wrong. But I think the whole brand is vegan. Um, okay, in terms of performance, so really nicely hydrating. Gives skin a nice boost of moisture. The nice thing is you can layer it, so you can generally probably add this in without changing too much else in your routine if you don't want to. Um, no real exfoliating benefits, but it does make my skin soft. Uh, it does contain a few ingredients of note for acne-prone skin, uh, squalene, acetyl alcohol, and vitamin E. So keep that in mind if you're very acne-prone. In terms of price, this is the full size, which is 30 milliliters, one ounce, and it retails for $20. And then we get to the very end. So it's done well so far. In terms of the it factor, um, it's a nice hydrating serum. It can certainly help repair the skin barrier. Uh, not much exfoliation, but it does leave skin soft. I love that it's fragrance-free and cruelty-free. Uh, it's got a lot of good uh, alternative dupes. The R&W Ceramide Concentrate, the Pacifica Vegan Ceramide, and the Glow Hub Barrier Serum are all good dupes. Is this a must-have? No, but if your skin barrier is damaged or you're using strong retinoids and you need a nice uh, boost of moisture, this is a good product. Um, probably would repurchase it again. But nothing super exciting. It's got a lot of good uh, similar dupes. But this one's the most affordable out of all of them, I think. Well, no, the Pacific is a little bit cheaper. But but that's only one ounce. So this one's a little bit... Well, they're the same size. I don't know. Whatever. It's a good product. Not a must-have. But anyway, interesting from you guys if you had a chance to check this out yet. Or if you try anything else out from Coco Kind. What should I try next from them? Leave a comment. So... Anyway, love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.